Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rafneet and I'm back with my Partners in Cream project pan update. So this project is created by Steph and Dylan. I will link both of them down below. In here you can pick any makeup products, maybe skincare, I'm not too sure about it. But yeah, as long as they're not powder, they are eligible to be rolled into this project and you can set your own goals. You can refresh this quarterly, but I haven't done that yet. I have some great progress on some items, not so great on the other ones. But before we get into that, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Rafneet and I make a lot of panning videos. I mostly pan eyeshadows. You'll see that in here as well because the product I have most progress on is an eyeshadow. I rolled in six products in the introduction of this project and one of them was an Anastasia foundation. There wasn't a lot of product in that foundation so I was able to finish it very early on in this project. So now I'm working on five products in here and I have really great progress on I'd say three of them and two not so much but let's take a look at the product that i have only used three times so my goal for this one is to use it 30 times in total and so far i only have 11 uses on this guy right here so this is becca light shifter illuminator i wanted to use it 30 times but so far i've only managed to use it 11 times yes i'm really struggling to use it because i really don't like putting a lot of products on my face so that's the reason i just don't want to put another cream product on my face when i'm already wearing a foundation and a cream blush which i'll get to i was planning to wear it as a body highlight like on my shoulders but the weather is still not warm enough for summer clothes so yeah this is still sitting at 11 uses so i have around 19 more uses to go on this product and next product is something that i'm using quite a lot when i rolled it in i was not expecting to use it this much but this is the milk makeup lip and cheek tint in the shade called work i got it from sephora as a birthday gift i guess few years ago but yeah since last update i have used it 18 times in total and this is how much product is left so i am really excited about it so so far in this project i have used it 60 times in total i am really surprised i think this color is really nice it just melts into my skin it's not too dark for me so that's why i can get away with using a little bit more of it and it also comes in very handy let's say if i put too much highlighter on then i would put this one on top just to kind of blend it a little bit better into my skin so yeah i really really like it and my goal for this makeup product right here is to use it up so it's going to stay here for I guess entirety of this year next is this essence lip liner in the shade called i am shook i have this in here for 15 use goal and so far i have used it 14 times so i used it five times since last update and we only have this much product left for this one so i think i am going to change my goal for this lip liner because i only have one use left for this eyeliner not eyeliner lip liner in this project but considering how little the product is in here i think i should be able to finish it so that's why i'm keeping it in to finish which is really exciting and next product is in for 30 uses as well and that's my melt lipstick so this is a deluxe size lip product from Melt. It's in the shade called 710. I don't have the shade name, but I really like how it smells. It smells so yummy. And since last update, I've only used it two times. Yeah, I'm focusing on other lipsticks and this kind of gets neglected. So I have 16 uses in total on this lipstick in this project, which means I have 14 more uses to go, but I just haven't been reaching for this one. I don't know, probably it's cause of the packaging. It's very, very tiny and it's easier to neglect. <laughs> 
but yeah that's my melt lipstick and last product we have in here is super shock eyeshadow it comes from my color pop mandalorian the child palette which i like to call baby yoda palette and it's the first shade in here it's called precious cargo and for this one my goal was to clear one tiny side and i did that so in total i had to use it nine times i wore it on my eyelids in my inner corners in order to clear out that section so we are super super close to use almost half of this product which is my goal for this eyeshadow i just want to use like half of the product in here which i think we should be able to do if we clear out this section and the bottom section so hopefully i'll be able to do that by next month because i can wear it in my inner corners in order to do that and we'll see so those are all the five products that i'm working on in this project also i have a question for you guys if any of you have money tree like this one please let me know how to take care of it properly because it's shedding a lot of leaves and one of its stems has completely dried i don't know what's going on i'm not over watering for sure but i might be under watering in the fear of root rotting but yeah let me know if you have any suggestions or care tips for money tree because online all of the tips are very generic like make sure it's getting enough sun it's not getting underwatered it's not getting overwatered but yeah it's not very helpful but that's all i have for today's update thank you so much for sticking with me until the end i hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video wherever in the world you are i will see you in my next one until then take care bye